Destiny Slocum, welcome and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. We're going to go right to question and answer, and we're going to start with a couple of questioners in your home state of Idaho. We're going to start first with John Wistrow, and you'll be followed, John, by Rachel Roberts. John. Hey, Justine, John Wistrow, Idaho Press. Congratulations. Um, just what, what's it mean to you to be a, a player from Idaho to, to represent uh, Idaho in the Treasure Valley and make it all the way to the WNBA? Uh, you know, I think it means a lot to me. I think growing up, uh, it's always been a dream to play professional basketball. And a lot of people around me here were like, thought it was crazy to even have that dream. I mean, they thought it was crazy for me to go to college on a full ride scholarship. So um, I think each and every day and each and every opportunity just becomes another path that you pave um, to open the doors for even more um, young girls that want to have the same dream. Um, and so hopefully I can open more doors for them as well. All right, thank you, Rachel. And just Robert. starting your career. Um, excuse me, go ahead. Uh, just, just starting your career, a, a quick plane ride from Boise. You know, how exciting is that for you? Um, <laughs> I'm excited. I, I mean, I mean, I think that's awesome. I think uh, the rare amount of times that I've actually been home in the last four years, you know, um, and Vegas being that close is kind of awesome for me. And I just think an opportunity, you know, that um, I'm very thankful for. All right, thank you. And our next question will come from Rachel Roberts and Rachel will be followed by Tyler Butler. Tyler, you're after Rachel. Rachel, go ahead. Hey, Destiny, this is Rachel Roberts with Idaho Statesman in Boise. Uh, I kind of saw a brief moment on TV when you were hugging your family members, but what was the moment like when you finally heard your name called and, and you had all of your brother and everybody around? I think it was nerve wracking. I mean, I think it was, it was also relief just to hear your name. Finally. Um, I mean, I've been draft eligible for three years. It's been something on my mind for three years now. And then finally to know that I'm in like the perfect mental and physical space to be there and hear my name. Um, I mean, I couldn't be more grateful um, and be able to share it with the people who sacrificed the most for me to have that opportunity. And so it, it means a lot to me. All right, thank you. Tyler Butler, you're up, and Tyler will be followed by Raymond Lyons. Hey, Destiny, congratulations. This is um, Tyler Butler from Sports and Culture. Uh, what does it say for the University of Arkansas to have you and Chelsea drafted, and what does it mean for that university going forward? You know, I think it speaks highly just to the culture that's there and, and just the opportunities that are presented to any player that chooses to go there. I think um, Coach Neighbors and their cat, their staff does a great job of preparing you for the next step and um, just grateful and, and so happy for Chelsea that um, she gets the opportunity uh, to go show what she can do and just thankful that I got the opportunity as well. All right, thank you. Raymond Lyons, you are up for Destiny, and on deck after that, Howard Magnum. Hey, Destiny, it's Raymond from uh, Made for the W. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Um, so if you go into the Aces, you know, they just uh, lost um, Kayla McBride in the offseason, but you kind of bring to the table the same thing she did. Uh, just how excited are you to kind of fill those shoes and have a chance to contribute immediately? Um, you know, I think just the opportunity in general, I think uh, being able to be around such a talented roster. I mean, they're literally just books of knowledge, um, especially being a rookie, having the opportunity to be around people that have had such great success and being around, I think, a team that uh, a lot of people know has is super talented. You know, I'm excited to go pick everybody's brain uh, and, and go in there and compete and work hard and, and you know, do whatever they need me to do. Um, and so I'm excited and, and thankful. All right, uh, Destiny, your next question is going to come from Howard Megdal, who was about to ask your teammate Chelsea Dungey a question when we lost her. So Howard may be asking you one question for you and one for your teammate. Go ahead, Howard. No, this is all for Destiny. We go, we go back to Maryland days. But uh, Destiny, congratulations. I want to talk to you about pace. Um, and specifically, you know, this is obviously something you excel at. It's something the Aces do exceptionally well. How significant of that fit is it for you as the type of player you are to be able to go in and be able to play at that pace right away? Uh, you know, I think it's really beneficial. I think throughout my college career, I've improved my, um, you know, just willingness to play at a slower pace. But I think 
genuinely as a player that my game is best suited for a someone who loves to run, you know, someone who loves a little bit of pace in their game. And so I think just overall my maturity as a player throughout college basketball, you know, would fit me in any system, but I obviously would love to play um, at a team that plays with pace and the Vegas um, fits perfectly. <laughs> All right, thank you. Our next question will come from Ronald Wallace. Ronald, if you would, and you will be followed by Cortland, Cortland Griffin. Ronald, you're up for Destiny. Destiny, congratulations on getting drafted. Uh, you watched you guys in the tournament. You guys were awesome. What can you translate from your college game, uh, bringing it into the WNBA game, and how you think you'll be able to help out the Aces? You know, I think it's just my playmaking ability. I think being able to set up um, players and get them the ball when they need it at the right times, you know, and I think just my competitive nature as a point guard and being able to um, really just dictate kind of how – and who needs the ball at what times. I think with as talented of the roster as the Aces have, you know, that's going to be so fun setting up people who you're like, okay, I'm going to get them the ball. They're going to score. They need it here, you know? So it's going to be a fun challenge and I love it. And I'm excited um, to be able to be there and, and just get, you know, vibes going. All right. Thank you. And Destiny, your next question is going to be from Cortland Griffin. Cortland, you're up for Destiny. Hello, Destiny. It's Cortland Griffin with the three-point conversion. One thing I noticed with you playing next to Chelsea was you have a buttery, like a buttery jumper and a silky smooth handle, similar to a Steph Curry. Do you feel like bringing that to Las Vegas is going to elevate them uh, further? And do you feel like you fit in with uh, with Bill Lambert's system? Um, yeah, no, I definitely think I do. I think when it comes to pace, I think when it comes to just my playing ability in general, I think I fit a lot of systems, but I think uh, the aces fit me a little bit different with that pace and, and being able to play, how I said, with people uh, around me um, that are capable of kind of, you know, understanding the game, super knowledgeable. And I, I enjoy that a lot. And I think Bill, um, through our conversations that we've had, um, we kind of get each other. So I, I enjoy that. All right, thank you, Chris Henderson. Chris, you will be next for Destiny. Chris Henderson. Destiny, congratulations on tonight and your future in the WNBA. I have two questions for you, actually, a follow-up on one. Who's your dream matchup? Because I, I know you're just excited to get on the court and that energy that you have. And my second question is, <laughs> being on a video game, you're going to be on a video game now. I'm pretty sure that's huge for you as well. Can you talk about those two things? Oh uh, yeah. Dream matchup. That's a good question. Um, probably I'm a huge Tarazi fan and, and I played her when we played at Oregon state, we played team USA, but to match up in the W um, against Tarazi would be, uh, I think for me, just a huge thing. So that'd probably be my dream matchup. And then um, video game. I mean, that's going to be funny. I think <laughs> I'm excited and, and just the opportunity, you know, to be able to, to have a platform like that and, and that, we, as women, you know, recently, what is this year three would be of the women being in the game? Um, that's awesome. And I think just the opportunity is just um, a blessing in itself. All right, Destiny, thank you so much. Congratulations once again. We're going to have you slide on over to the next stop in the media circuit. Congratulations and thank you.